This is the Karcher FJ6 foam nozzle. The FJ6 is a low cost foam cannon designed by Karcher for use with their K series pressure washers. In this video we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of the FJ6 and I'll give you a demonstration of it in action using two common car cleaning products. So, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I've had my Karcher FJ6 for about two years now so I thought it was about time I did an updated review. The FJ6 is designed specifically to be used with Karcher K series pressure washers. If we look at the back of the nozzle, you can see the moulded plastic Karcher bayonet fitting. This fitting is not compatible with other pressure washer brands like Bosch, Nilfisk or Ferex. The nozzle is made entirely from plastic, with the only moving parts being the yellow dial on the top, which you use to adjust the thickness of the foam, and the front of the nozzle which rotates to allow you to adjust the spray fan orientation. I'll demonstrate that later. The tank is also made of plastic, it's got a capacity of 600 millilitres, it's got the Karcher branding, and there are three sets of markers around the bottle spaced at 100 millilitre increments. The tank has a triangular shape which is designed so that it can fit into the detergent port in the top of some Karcher pressure washers. It fits neatly in there when not in use. One problem with the tank is the size of the neck where you pour the detergent. The only way to fill the tank without making a mess is to use a measuring jug. To demonstrate the FJ6 in action, I'm going to be using Autoglim Polar Blast Snow Foam. Autoglim recommend using a ratio of 100 millilitres of detergent to 500 millilitres of water. So I've measured out 100 millilitres of the snow foam detergent. I'm just going to top it up to 600 millilitres using the tap and then we'll pour it into the tank. This is where it would be easier if the tank had a wider neck. And once I've poured the full 600 millilitres in, you can see that the tank is virtually full. The nozzle then aligns with the two lugs on the neck and you simply twist to fit. Very quick and easy. To demonstrate the FJ6, I'm going to be using this Karcher K4 pressure washer. And I'm going to use it to clean this Audi A4. This car's absolutely filthy at the moment. You can see there's bird droppings on there. Plenty of splattered insects. Several weeks with a road grime. And to top it all off, lots and lots of mud. Should be a good test. Connecting the FGA6 to the pressure washer lance is easy. Simply push and twist. And it's on. Because the tank's so small, it actually feels very light compared to a lot of other foam cannons. So I'll start with a dial turn totally clockwise. This is on the minimum setting now. And you can see that the foam produced is very thin. I prefer something thicker, so I'm going to turn it halfway. And we'll try it again. And this time we get a thicker foam. See the coverage is quite good. And finally I'll turn the dial fully anti-clockwise. This should give us the maximum. And you can see the foam's much thicker. Snow foam thickness is personal choice, but its job as a pre-wash is to break down grime. So really it's got to be thick enough to stick to the panels for long enough to break down the grime. If you want even thicker foam, remember you can just increase the amount of detergent in the mix. This was on a 1 to 5 ratio. But this is adhering pretty well, so let's have a go at the rest of the car. Unlike other more expensive foam cannons, there's no way to adjust the width of the spray fan. But you can see the FJ6 covers the car quickly and evenly. After I'd finished the whole car, there was still over 100 millilitres, probably about 150 millilitres left in the tank. So even though the tank's smaller than you'll find with other foam cannons, it's big enough if you're only cleaning one car. So let's take a look at the foam. That looks good. Nice even coverage, it's clinging well. The FJ6 doesn't produce the thickest foam in the world. If you want that, you need to be spending a lot more money on something like the MJJC foam cannons. But this looks fine, it should do the job. We just need to leave it a few minutes to break down the grime. While the snow foam is breaking down the grime, I'm going to clean out the nozzle. This is really important. It stops the nozzle getting blocked 
disconnect the nozzle from the tank and then place the tube into water and simply blast it through it will clean out any detergent that's in the nozzle there is another video on my channel which shows you what to do if your FJ6 does get blocked up and stops foaming but if you do this each time you won't have a problem we're then ready to rinse off the foam and move on to the second part of our demonstration this is Auto Glim Polar Wash Shampoo Polar Wash is a shampoo which is designed to be used with foam cannons in this case I'm using a 1 to 1 ratio 1 to 1 is the maximum ratio recommended by Auto Glim Once again the FJ6 covered the car quickly and evenly. And there was still plenty of detergent left in the tank afterwards. After agitating the shampoo with a microfiber mitt. And then rinsing off the residue with the pressure washer. And then drying it with a microfiber towel. The car looked great. Look at the reflection there. You can get very good results with this cheap little foam cannon. It's lightweight. You can adjust the spray fan. The orientation anyway, so that's vertical. And then you can twist the nozzle 90 degrees to get a horizontal spray fan. It's small, so it won't take up much storage space. And it seems fairly robust. I've had mine two years now, it's been absolutely fine. Downsides include the fact that the suction tube is rigid and doesn't have a filter on the bottom. The detergent tank is small, much smaller than most foam cannons, but as we've seen today, it should be big enough if you only want to clean one car. And finally, the nozzle itself is made mainly from a single piece of moulded plastic, which means you can't strip it down if it gets blocked. It also means that if one part of the nozzle breaks, you're going to have to replace the whole nozzle. You also can't change the Karcher fitting, but you can buy adapters which will allow you to use the FJ6 with a stubby gun. A link to the video showing how to do this should be popping up in the top right hand corner about now. So in my opinion, the FJ6 is a good little foam cannon. It doesn't produce the thick shaving foam cream consistency foam that you might get with a really high end foam cannon. Like the MJJC model you can see here. But the Karcher Foam Cannon is much, much cheaper and does a good job. If you're interested in any of the equipment in this video, I'll put Amazon links in the description below. I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.